please take a moment to read this disclaimer. Welcome to Zen HVAC Micro Training Video Series. What you need to know, when you need to know it, in 10 minutes or less, guaranteed. This topic, how to calculate outside airflow percentages using only a thermometer. Wow! First, why do we care? Well, let's see. Too much outside air can lead to poor humidity control, failed gas heat exchangers, poor temperature control, heat exchanger corrosion, and not enough can give you sick building syndrome. It can even cause earaches. How does it cause earaches? Simple, because your customer will be screaming at you until you fix the problems listed above and it'll give you earaches. Get it? Okay, not too funny. Let's get started. To be accurate, you need a minimum 10 degree difference between the outside air temperature and the return air temperature. Good news is it doesn't matter if it's warmer outside or if it's colder outside, it just has to be a 10 degree difference minimum. You're also going to need an accurate thermometer. Now Patrick is probably going to try and have you borrow his pocket thermometer he's been carrying since 1986. That's not going to cut it. We want an accurate electronic thermometer with a probe on it that we can slip well into the airstream. Step one, we're going to turn off the heating, we're going to turn off the cooling, and we're going to turn the indoor fan on and let the unit run for about five or ten minutes. Step two, we're going to measure the outside air temperature, again with the fan on, at the outside air inlet for the piece of equipment you're working on. So we're measuring, and in our case we have 85 degrees. Write it down. Step three. We're not going to measure the return air temperature in the return duct. We want to make sure we're getting just the return air temperature and no outside air. In our case, 75 degrees. Write it down. Step four. We're going to measure the mixed air temperature in the supply duct, again with the heating and cooling turned off and the fan on. In our case, our mixed air temperature is 78 degrees. Write it down. Step five, time for a little math. The formula is mixed air temperature minus return air temperature divided by outside air temperature minus return air temperature times 100. It's not as hard as it looks. Let's do an example. Our mixed air temperature is 78 degrees. Our return air temperature is 75. We subtract the two. That gives us three degrees. Not too hard so far, right? Next, we take our outside air temperature, 85 degrees, and we subtract our return air temperature of 75 degrees, and we have 10 degrees. Again, pretty easy so far, right? Now we take our three degrees, and we divide it by our 10 degrees. And that gives us 0 0.30. We take 0 0.30, and we multiply it times 100, and we have 30% outdoor air. This unit is bringing in 30% outside air. Pretty simple, huh? Points to remember. There must be at least a 10 degree difference between the return and outdoor air temperatures. You must use an accurate electronic temperature probe for these measurements. The heating and cooling must be turned off. And the indoor fan must be on. That's it. 
let us know what you think. Let us know how we can improve. And let us know what topic you would like to see next. Thank you. Thank you for watching.